and welcome to Whiskey Resource. This is day nine of my 12 drams of Christmas. We're gonna get straight into it. You've probably seen the videos already. So, if you haven't, go back and catch up. So, it's two lumps. So, day nine. It's all fun and games in the whiskey tasting household. So that one had a seal, so this is one I've not tried, or rather not been sent a sample of. Into the hat. And keep you in car doors banging. God knows what's going on out there. On the nose, what have we got? That smells peated. Straight away, that's peated. So it's it's actually quite floral, it's fragrant, it's quite dynamic. There's a lot going on there. There's the peat, it's sweet. There's um, fruitiness, which whilst I really don't want to say it's citrus, it's citrus. There's maybe a touch of heather. It's... It's more peat than it is smoke. It's fruity, very much so. Bit of min minerality to it as well. And ABV on the nose. It's not singing my nasal hair, so I'm saying 40 to 43%. It's, it's nice, it's pleasant, it's Got quite a bit going on there. I think this is one that maybe takes a bit of opening to breathe and relax a bit. On the nose at least. I'd say this probably has some age to it. Not really old. 12 years is probably the uh, the stable. On the palate, cheers. That is very, very much a peated whiskey. It's earthy. There's a little bit of dunnage influence going on there. Whilst I'm not getting dark fruit, I am getting some dunnage influence. I'm gonna increase the ABV and say this is 46%. The fruits. I think this has a touch of sherry influence to this, you know. So I'm getting those sherry influenced fruits. Um, there's some vegetal notes, some hay, those kind of grassy notes. There's a whiff of peat smoke. Uh, sorry, smoke itself, which is more More of a wood smoke. There is some spiciness to it. Probably some white pepper with spice. Definitely some oak going on there in the finish, which is slightly bitter. This is about medium sweetness for a whiskey. As for price, I would say this is probably somewhere in the region of 35 to 45 pounds. Now, in terms of the peatiness on here, I have had a bit of a curveball with that millstone, which I said was a Campbelltown, but obviously it wasn't, it was a Dutch whiskey. But my mind is telling me that this is Isla. The 46% strength, in fact, it's an Isla. It's make me think of the Buna. So could this be one of the Peter, Peter Buna Harbins, Moyne, or 
Uh, there's another one. I can't remember the name. I've not had them. Not had a Peter Peter Boona yet. It's pleasant. It, uh, it's, I wouldn't buy a bottle, even if this is a Boona. It's it tastes kind of familiar. It tastes similar to. Uh, let me think, the Scarabus that I reviewed not long back. I'll try and remember, remember to put a link up, up whichever side it's going to be on. Uh, so it's kind of similar to the Scarabus with the honey kind of fruit and smoke. This could be a Kalila. It could be another Kalila. But I want to say this is a Buna, um, one of the peated Bunas. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. Um, Kiloman. I never mentioned them the other day. Thanks, Sid, for reminding me of them. It could be them. I've, I've not... Can't say I've tried them. Um, Ardenhoe. Not tried them. Could be. Um, Brucladic. Could be them. But I'm going to say this is a, a Peter Booner. Um and hope that I'm not wrong and find out actually it's an Ardmore from the mainland. What do we think this is? Let's go ahead and let's have the reveal. It's going to be a Dunglow Slang, isn't it? Hunt along. Hunt along. Early journey. So, of course, we don't know who make this. It's um, very pale doesn't tell us what the strength is. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back with um, some information about this off the web. Two moments. Hello. So I'm back after doing my quick research of this. This is a um, Hunt Alang uh, Isle Journey, which was provided as part of the Southport Whiskey Festival. Never opened it. and uh, never got around to trying it with all the samples that I've got. So um, it's on Moss's Malt. However, it's currently out of stock, retailing for £30.95. pence. So... Um, I think I said between 35 and 45 because I had that booner in my head. Um, 35, 30 pound 95, as I say, it tastes quite similar to Scarabus in many ways. It's pleasant, it's nice. I think at 30.95, if I did see a pop up on, let's say, a Master of Malt Flash sale, I would probably buy one. Um, in terms of what it is, well, it's a blended malt, blending um, different Isla whiskies. So, there may well be some Buna, some Kalila in there, um, potentially some of the other uh, bigger distilleries that I've not mentioned, and well, you know who they are. Um, so it says it picks a maritime punch. If I concentrate, maybe there is some salinity on there. But what do they say about it? Well, it's he hefty aromas of peat smoke and flinty min minerality. I did say min minerality to it. Sea breeze, bonfire ash with a burst of red berry and vanilla sweetness. Uh, whole malt notes of earthy peat. Yep, on the palate I said that. Uh, sea spray, didn't pick that up. Mineral heavy, seaweed, ice and sugar, medium sweet. Yep, yep. Creamium, vanilla vanilla and chocolate. Didn't get chocolate. I didn't mention vanilla either. Medium length, sprinkle of sea salt and a dash of fresh citrus. Well, citrus pops up a lot. Um, so that's it on that one. Um, I got some of it I, I knew you kind of isla um obviously i had no clue because there's that many different independent bottlings of stuff out there that you you can only get as close as you can get so laters <laughs>